Camilla to take on greater role amid Queen health scare due to Harry and Andrew's exit. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, could be asked to step up and take on more responsibilities in the royal family after the Queen's recent health scare as two of Her Majesty's official deputies aren't working for the royal family anymore. As head of state, Queen Elizabeth is required by the Constitution to provide a royal assent to a variety of official decisions. Although this royal assent is mostly symbolic nowadays, she still has to sign bills passing through Parliament or greenlight the appointment of High Court judges, among other things. Following her recent health scare, Buckingham Palace has to consider a plan B if the monarch is unable to assume this crucial function. According to protocol, if the Queen is too ill to read and understand the necessary papers and sign her consent, the job would fall to the councillors. The councillors of state are four official members of the royal family who are awarded by the Crown the right to momentarily take over from the Queen if she is unable to perform her duties because she is abroad or unwell. Two councillors of state are required to act together in a quorum to perform crucial functions. Without councillors' royal assent, the government would theoretically be incapacitated as any new bill would await assent from the Crown. The four councillors are usually the monarch's spouse followed by next in line to the throne and at least over the age of 18. Prince Charles, Prince William, Prince Andrew and Prince Harry are therefore the current councillors. However, as Andrew and Harry have decided to step down from royal duties, this leaves only Charles and William. A source close to the palace told Mail on Sunday, this is a constitutional headache. With an aging monarch, there are talks about what will happen if the Queen is unable to work for some reason. You can't have Andrew and Harry do it and Charles and William are extremely busy. There is a small but genuine risk that the non-availability of councillors of state could impede the operation of the Constitution, Dr. Craig Prescott, a constitutional expert at Bangor University told Mail on Sunday. It could certainly make the day-to-day -day running of government much more tricky. The councillors of state are a plan B from a constitutional point of view, but what happens when plan B isn't quite ideal? The Queen may look to add the Duchess of Cornwall, who would become a councillor of state when Charles is king anyway. Or they could go down the line to Princesses Beatrice or Eugenie, or add more members of the family, like Princess Anne or Prince Edward to the list. While Camilla is not in the direct line to the throne, the Queen could make her a counselor and she would automatically become one when Charles is king. This would mean she could have the power to give royal assent or dissolve a government, among others. In fact, during the Queen and Prince Philip's tour of New Zealand in 1974, the Queen Mother and Princess Margaret, both counselors of state, enacted the Queen's wishes to dissolve Dead Heath's government. It is thought that the last time the sovereign's power was passed to the councillors of state was in 2015 when the Queen went to Malta with Prince Philip. Most of the functions of the head of state can be devolved, says Vernon Bogdaner, the author of Monarchy and the Constitution and Professor of Government at King's College London. It is not, for example, constitutionally necessary for the Queen to attend the state opening of Parliament.
Prince Philip. Most of the functions of the head of state can be devolved, says Vernon Bogdaner the author of Monarchy and the Constitution and Professor of Government at King's College London. It is not, for example, constitutionally necessary for the Queen to attend the state opening of Parliament.